Hey guys, for today's video, I'm going to be sharing some nail art techniques that you can do using simple items that you have laying around your house. You don't need to have fancy nail tools or nail art daughters or brushes to get really cool looks. So I'm going to be showing you how you can do a really cool technique using a cotton ball, q-tip, paper clip, safety pin, a needle, and even a toothpick. So you're also going to reach for something simple like a post-it note to use as a palette to put your nail polish on. So the first tool I'm going to use is a toothpick and I'm just going to take any nail polish and just dot some of that on my palette and I'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve super easy dots with a toothpick. And when it comes to dots, the difference really is how much polish you load up on the end of the toothpick and how much pressure you apply to the nail. So if you want small dots to be pretty consistent, you just want to dot down one time on the nail and don't overload it with too much polish. Now I'm going to go in building up a little bit of a bigger dot by just applying more polish on the end of the toothpick and do two dots in the same spot. It just kind of builds up the circle. And then lastly, you can get an even bigger dot by just loading up even more polish on the end of the toothpick and rubbing it in a circle. The next tool I'm gonna to use is a paper clip and I'm just gonna open it up and use the blunt end dipped in some polish to make dots. This is a really great tool for making dots because it has a circular blunt end, so you just have to do one dot on the nail and you'll get that perfect size dot every time. And I'm just gonna go in and show you guys how you can do a simple heart. Uh, you just do two dots next to each other and then drag the polish together and down to make the tail of the heart. Next, I'm going to take a Q-tip and I'm going to dip that back into my polish and kind of dot along the edge of the nail. This just really concentrates a bigger like surface area with the polish and you can kind of cover more at once. You can keep going back in and dotting on the nail and the more times you go over the polish with the Q-tip, it's going to absorb more of that polish back up into the cotton. So you can really achieve a more like gradient effect um, and kind of smoke out the color a little bit. I'm now going to grab my needle and just run it through the polish one time. You don't want to load up too much on there to where it's too goopy on the end because the needle is great for making line um, kind of nail art and just small skinny strokes. Now the next tool I have is my safety pin all opened up and you can do the same thing like you did with a needle before and do lines and different kind of strokes that are skinny. Um, but I, another reason that I like using a needle point is for picking up glitter. So I am a fan of placing glitter exactly where I want it on the nail instead of just brushing glitter on with the brush. So using any kind of needle point is really great for that. It allows you to pick up specific pieces of glitter and place them wherever you want them on the nail. So the next tool I'm gonna to use is a cotton ball and I'm just packing it down so it's a little bit more dense and dipping it one time in the polish. And then you just wanna start on the edge of the nail and kind of pat it all the way up. It kind of gives a gradient effect and kind of ombres the color up the nail. That's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful on how you can get some cool new nail art looks using tools that you just have laying around your house. If you guys found this helpful or want a part two, let me know in the comments down below. Bye guys.